So here we are coming across the start finish line. We want to move over to the left hand side of the circuit. And just at the tipping point, we want to be nipping a little bit of the pit lane entry. You can see with the white marks worn away there. Very late apex into turn one. And as you get to the apex of the corner, there's a crest right in the road. So you need to get back on the power and drive it through the apex of the corner. If you haven't got any weight on the rear of the car, you will lose the rear end stability. So you need to be on the power driving it through. Not using too much curve on the exit and a short squirt down to turn two and three. Now tricky corner turn two and three. As you're turning in, you want to kind of aim for the, the exit rumble strip curb and try and brake in a straight line so that you're not unloading the rear of the car whilst you're heavy on the brakes. And then once you start to come off the brakes, you can turn it in and almost take it as one big sweeping corner. And then fire it out across the rumble strip, aiming towards the grass on the exit and try not to run onto it. Turn into hairpin one, be careful of the right corner of the car at the back, make sure you don't dip the right rear wheel onto the grass as you're trying to pinch that last centimetre of track. Nor nice smooth run round, grabbing the inside kerb to hook the front of the car around the corner. Try not to run too wide on the exit and use the rumble strip, and stick to the right hand side or the middle of the track for hairpin number two. No point going all the way across the circuit with just wasting time moving over there. Hold a tight line all the way around for hairpin two, and sacrifice hairpin two to get a good drive out of this left hander onto the back straight. One of the most important corners on the circuit before the long straight. You need to make sure you're on the throttle as early as possible and not running out too wide across the rumble strips. Into this long left hand corner. Now, some people like to go out wide here and cut back. I think it's better to sit in the middle of the road. One, you can defend easier in a race situation, but two, you're not wasting time moving over to the right hand side of the track just to come back. So hook it in nicely to the apex and run it through. Now this right hand sweeper all the way around the mound is almost two corners. And it's a very tricky corner, very hard to be smooth on the power all the way through here. And once you're on the throttle, you don't want to be coming back off. You just want to be progressively winding it on all the way through. Run a little bit of curve on the exit. fast right, very very similar to the right hander, the fast right at the end of the lap at PFI. A little lift as you turn in, get the car to rotate and fire it through. And then braking into the rise. Just in the braking zone there's a big bump in the track which unsettles the rear of the car so you've got to try and be smooth on the turn in. And again the most important corner on the circuit is you've got the long straight all the way down to pretty much turn two after this. So you need to drive it through the apex fire it as fast as you can all the way down the straight and that should get you a reasonable lap around Bayford Meadows. So let's go for a couple of laps and then I will talk you through all the things that I'm doing wrong.